What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. Today we are taking a look at the submissions from the subpage challenge from yesterday's video as a part of the 30 day UI UX series. So this is a, a tougher one. There's a lot of different entries. And so I'll show you some thoughts that I have and revisions as well. So tomorrow we will continue on with the series. We're gonna be wrapping up soon and on to something new and cool thereafter. So definitely check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. And let's get started. All right, so for just a quick refresh, this is the landing page or the home page that we create or the, the hero section essentially. So this kind of defines the look and the feel and the aesthetic. Um, all right, so let's check out the very first one. This is by Dogen. All right, here is the curriculum page. Okay, so a couple issues here happening. The title is a little bit too cluttered with the little green star and then the encased Laravelers kind of pill button and then this little treatment up there it's just a little bit too much happening so I took that area and I kind of did this I just simplified it greatly right there next up the actual module list um, you'll see there's a little bit too much space or white space between each of the items I would tidy those up closer like this um, and, and really it's kind of a little bit too much happening because we have white backgrounds plus a stroke here. That kind of clutters things quite a bit. Um, additionally, there's not a lot of white space or padding on the inside of the actual elements. And then this type right here was definitely not contrast enough. It needs to be darker, more like around here. And we would want to spread out the line height. So here's what I did. Here's my, oopsie, quick adjustments. I got rid of the border. I brought them closer together and I made just a few adjustments um, overall in terms of the this section here. Notice also how they chose not to extend these all the way out, which I think is a mistake because they're almost far enough, but not quite. So this is um, the after version with the adjustments that I made um, just by replicating the intro. I don't have to make all these adjustments, but um, yeah, pretty good entry some things to look out for. Next one is from Dennis. All right, so unfortunately, Dennis kind of got confused about the requirements um, because if you look at this chapter description modules, chapter description modules, I didn't want you to actually include explicit labels for these, just rather include a chapter, include a description, include, <laughs> include the modules. So unfortunately, there's so much happening here that I didn't have, I wouldn't have enough time to try to refactor it into something that makes sense. So unfortunately, gonna have to scrap this one, um, but so let's continue on. We have Razdin, all right. So this one's a super simplistic one, one in which he did not follow the directions or he or she or whatever, because there's no description here. There's supposed to be a description and there's also supposed to be the number of modules. So nonetheless, I decided to quickly, you know, just take a look what, you know, what's here as is and then make some adjustments. First off, you want these to extend all the way out to the right, unless you have like a second row or a second column rather uh, with other content inside of it. So here is what I did. Um, I kind of, I brought them closer together as you can see over here. Um, and I also, in order just not to have a completely blank white page, especially when, you know, the actual home page is split up and, and sectioned off into a lot of different colors. Then if you come right to this page, it's like all completely white. We can separate these with sections like this very light uh, gray color right here. Um, there's another treatment we can apply too. Instead of using high contrast strokes, we could make um, each of them the backgrounds of the rose white. So um, very simple. Let's continue on. This is from Raphael. Okay. So a couple of weird things happening here in this one, C1, C2, C3, these chapters, like the little points. Um, it, it's, it's just, it makes it a little bit too busy, uh, in my opinion, having it like this. Uh, so what I did is I removed those and I kept, I kept much of what you have here in terms of designs. Um, but one thing that kind of throws off the visual hierarchy is this really high contrast green. And it's really kind of like, like just a watermark. It's not an important element, but because it's so vibrant, it attracts the eye a little bit too much. So what I did is just turn it into an actual watermark, very light gray, 
um, based on the white background. Now, another thing that I would fix is the design of this card right here. Now, the only reason I didn't is because it, everything is thrown into auto layout. So if I try to ungroup stuff, it all just breaks apart and it would take a long time for me to adjust. But the main issues here are some alignment issues and white space issues. Um, I would extend these out to the left and right um, and make some adjustments in that regard. But good, good submission nonetheless. Next one up is from Roy. So let's check this one out. Now, this one kind of, is kind of strange because this, this subheadline is wrapped inside of what looks could, could be a button, you know, especially if your cursor's right there. Like, am I supposed to click this? Might be a little bit confusing in terms of the UX. So what I did is just make it simple, put it over here. In fact, we could probably just do this or we could do this, make it a little bit larger. You have a lot of options, as you can see. Um, and then underneath you have your, this, this content that's designated right here, which I really didn't modify too much just because there's a lot happening here. And, um, in and of itself, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I would probably take these if there was a light version of the font, which there might not be, there isn't make them a little bit lighter, um, and also increase the line height a bit. So they're a bit easier to read essentially. Okay. Next one after that is from Nahil. Now, unfortunately, this one is one I could not revise either just because she added so much to each of these um, little chapter lists and went beyond what I asked for. And so each one of these becomes big, large cards. Now, the reason this is a problem is because if somebody wants to look at a curriculum, they want to see a list of things that they can quickly scan so that they can determine if they want to follow that course or not. So that's one of the things that you know, preventing me from being able to try to refactor this into something that's much more simplistic. There's just so much happening here. However, having said that, for what this is, ignoring the UX stuff, the design is pretty good. You know, I have no problem with what's happening here for the most part. The white check marks, can't really quite see those, so I'd make those black. Small things like that, I would adjust. But uh, thanks for all the work in the entries. nahil has been, I think, here from the beginning. So very good. Keep it up. Next up is from Malik. All right, Malik. So um, we have the highest graded curriculum for Lar Laravel developers. Um, one thing I would change here um, where it says modules colon three, just say three modules instead. It's a little bit more natural. Type is pretty big here. Let's see, um, I wanted to show a couple different treatments we can apply to this to modify things. Another thing I wanna do is say, where it says chapter one, chapter two, chapter, chapter number three, these all take up too much space. So instead, you could do something like this instead, like chapter one, you can even encase this if I get out a rectangle tool here and maybe make it white and wrap that. If I can, let me real quickly adjust this. Oh no. Yeah, it's in a group somewhere. There we go. I think it might be in that group. Chapter one. There we go. Okay. Oh, where is it? Okay, where'd the chapter one text go? Doo, doo, doo. Well, see, as you can see, when I try to modify things, it's not always that easy, especially when I'm trying to do it on a fly live. But you could wrap these into like little containers. Um, and that way they don't take up so much space. Um, additionally, notice modules three, I have three modules here that's working out pretty well. Yeah. And then also if you wanted to take the, the line approach, the outline approach, you can do that as well. So a lot of this is a high degree of subjectivity. I would probably move these over and up just a bit just to modify that. But again, I'm going through these pretty fast. Um, trying to get these knocked out. Next one up. Uh, the last one is from S seven AEX. That's the username. I cannot read the other one. I'm assuming this part was an accident. This is actually a pretty good entry right here. Um, I, I like the card approach with the thick, I uh, uh, forget what we called that trend, real thick, uh, high contrast borders and such. That's one of the defining characteristics. Um, but this is actually pretty good. We have the icon here, five modules. Um, I did modify it just to add some more white space around the cards like this, but overall, I would have to say this is probably the most solid design, even though they're in card format, they don't take up a lot of space. So I think that works very well. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. We're going to continue on with the 30 day UI UX series. 
Um, tomorrow, I believe, will be day number 25 or 26. So we're going to be wrapping up soon and on to something else afterwards. And yeah, definitely check out designcourse.com and the UI UX course, which is the full featured pay course, where if you really want to learn this stuff, you will follow that. So I will see you all very soon tomorrow with a new video.